Falcons knock off Aurora in women's lacrosse action by the final score at 10-9. Lauren Paquin, our guest, able to come through with six goals and couldn't last two in the contest to overcome what was a brief 9-8 deficit and pick up this victory. Take us through the last few minutes of that game after falling behind by one, how you guys were able to overcome that obstacle and pick up the victory. Yeah, it was getting really intense through the end of the game and we really just needed to work as a team um, to get through that and we kind of got down on ourselves a little bit but then we had Jenny Rodenga coming in and pumping us all up after we scored the um, the tying goal which was amazing and then through that we had Ellie Woodman throughout the entire game just like trying to pump us up and really carrying the team. She She's a defender and she doesn't play attack often and she she got all these ground balls and was just pumping us up through the entire game and at the last couple minutes we just I don't know how we did it but we just pulled through and it was just an amazing feeling honestly. I mentioned you scored six three of those goals were free position goals and that is ties the program record for free position goals in a game for an individual. Is there a method to how you go about approaching a free position shot? Honestly it's really situational and especially with the rule change now that um, the defenders automatically get the two hashes next to you. It's you really just have to get the first step off and try and pull <laughs> your stick away from them and maybe even switch. It's just depends on the situation, depends on the goalie, and it depends on how fast the girls are off the line. And if it goes in, it goes in. That's really about it. <laughs> how how's the shot clock this season maybe changed how the Falcons have you guys have approached the attack? Um. I don't know. We it doesn't really bother us unless it's we're f facing like really really good teams. Um, we haven't really had any problems lately, um, but it's definitely something we have to keep in the back of our minds, and it definitely keeps the game moving instead of just having one team hold it the whole game. So it is a little different, but we haven't really had many problems with it this season. Always seems like it's a big game when it's Concordia against Aurora here on the women's side. A meaningful game. How physical? How emotional was this game? Well, <laughs> for our coach, she's actually pregnant again, and she was like you almost gave us a miscarriage so we definitely we're not expecting it to be that close but um, the fact that it was it's they are still a good opponent and they're one of our biggest rivals so it's definitely very emotional and we obviously don't want to give up a loss on our home field either so I'm just glad that we pulled out with a win today. How about for you how confident are you playing right now you scored five against Hamlin you scored six in this one you've always been a goal scorer but I mean you're a lot more than just that named the defensive player of the week but how confident are you right now as you continue on this your junior season? Right now, I'm. I mean, personally, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I mean, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here without my team. Um, Allie, Allie Kurek and my other middies were really pushing through this year with the new rules. It's insane with running, and we have a couple other girls stepping up to play midi like Nicole and Sierra. So props to them for standing up and getting through. But we have low numbers this year and. So it's really hard for the whole team to like get through games, but we're doing really well for the n numbers that we have. And I, I this is my first year playing MIDI full time, so it's just it's so difficult. But we're we're surprising a lot of people. Just finally, the weather does that play a big factor? <laughs> day like today, where it feels like the mid teens, but then you have the the wind blowing between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Does that does that become a factor? Is that a mental thing? For sure, um, the weather really affects how how the ball flies through the air um not much today the wind wasn't that bad but sometimes it can really alter where you're throwing it or even on shots it can go like way out but like yesterday we had like it was sleeting at practice and we couldn't even see so if that would have been like it today the game would have been 10 times worse oh. so congratulations on the victory Thank Lord. You. thanks for your time falcons win 10-9